Okay, throw it in. Is it okay? Is it in? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're good. No, I'm not. I'm freaking yeah. out. You're good. Squats, my dear. Uh huh. I have no butt. Yeah. I don't really know what this one's going to be, but we're in a nice area at least. We got a bunch of camping gear. We got food for a few days. We got fishing poles. So we're just kind of winging this one. Um, doing some island camping for sure. So there's that. But yeah, I don't really have any. It's not a challenge or anything. Just doing some camping and might do some... Uh, working on some structure building want to get better at building shelters so might do some practice at that and if we get a good one maybe we'll camp out in it for the night but don't really have any rules or any structure to this video just kind of going out and having fun and seeing what happens so i brought a machete this time because we got some thick bush to go through we also got jeans on uh fueling up before we go out had uh, a baconator a uh, little frosty, little tiny frosty. Remember, if you ever, Jess is here this time also. She needs to put her pants on because this shit's gonna chew us apart. But we had Wendy's before we came out, so we're fired up and ready to go. Uh, and then we gotta cut through this shit and get to the island. Getting there. Now we're just cutting through here. Cutting, cutting, cutting. I'm coming up to one of my favorite places to swim in the entire world. Why? I don't know, but, oh, geez. I watched my footing here. But check this out. Yeah, beautiful. And on the other side right there is an island. That's Crown Land, so that's free game for camping. And that's where we're going for tonight. All right, going down that path I just cut there. Away from the road, down into the bush. I found a wild raspberry bush down here. Let me see if I can show you on camera. Look at that. I'm not an expert in, uh, what do you call it, wild edibles, but to me that looks like a wild raspberry. So at least we won't starve out here. But don't take my word for it. Don't eat anything that I talk about because I'm not professional. But that to me is a raspberry. Uh, okay, so we're in here. We're in the woods here. We got river there. Uh, we're gonna cross the river and we're gonna camp on the island that's just over there. That's doing a good job, holy. Super quick. Well, that's how we're transporting all of our gear. <laughs> Just go slow and you'll be okay. You got it. Come closer. Okay. Okay. Watch where you're stepping. Yeah, see, that's why I want to put this in. Come take this so I can. Ah, there's a pain out! Oh my god! Get away from me! Fuck! <laughs> okay, throw it in. Is it okay? 
Is it I in? Think. Your phone almost fell. That's why it's in a waterproof bag. That is convenient. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're good. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm freaking yeah. out. You're good. This is gonna suck. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that bad, babe. You keep moving further. Why do you keep moving further away from me? Stay next to me. <laughs> See? <laughs> no. <laughs> no one. Well, that canoe is in the water. They're getting a little bit. Ah! Whoa. What the hell was that? Jesus Christ. What happened? I don't think Huh? Uh. Well, just keep walking and we'll be through this in no time. No. I'm going to hyperventilate. <laughs> Oh my god. Babe, hey, there's Lisa. nothing in this water. Nothing. You're okay. I my glasses, so I can't do shit. But at least you came. Oh my god. How are you feeling back there? You're lucky I love you. Is it hard? Just know I would not be here in this having a low key heart attack if I didn't love you. <laughs> Well, I much appreciate it because it's nice to come out and do this stuff with you. See, this I don't mind. If this it was like this the whole way. <sighs> <laughs> this is shallow now, but this is not super bad. And then this is where we came from, and that's deeper back there. But we're making our way through, and the water is actually not too yeah. bad, and you're hanging in there good. You got in at least. <laughs> you put me a minute. Mm -hmm. But you did it. <laughs> We're good? Okay. It is a bit of a bitch hauling this thing through here. Especially with the camera in my hand, too. All right, I made it. I'm in the calm section. It's amazing the power of water, and this is just like a foot deep running through us right now. And you can feel it. Like holding on to this with my hand is it like a little challenging. It's not super hard, but it's, you know. Yeah, feel that. Feel that? That's a workout. Yeah, and like try to walk with it a bit, you'll see. Like take a few steps forward with it. <laughs> Careful you don't fall. I wouldn't do that. You fall, then that's going to drag you under. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus Christ. Here, let me do it. I got it. Hey, get it over there. It's too dangerous to be in there like that. Well, here's our spot. I macheted out of this uh, thick stuff. There's the rafts back there that we transported all of our gear. And there's all of our gear just sitting there from the river's edge. So now we got to set everything up and make some food. All right. Well, got this cleared out a little bit now, but... Uh, and got a change of clothes on because we were all wet. So we made a clothes hanger. We got our stuff hanging up there drying. We're on a bit of a slant here. I don't know if you can see in the video, but we're on a bit of a slant. So behind me looks a little more flat, but we got all this brush here. So I'm gonna hack some of that down and uh, get a better spot to set up our tent for the night. What's up? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, by the way, if you are enjoying watching our videos, it would help us out if uh, you would subscribe to the channel. And also, um, what would be even more helpful is if you watched another one of our videos. That would really help us. So please consider doing that.
Got to wear these gloves because lots of stinging nettles in here. And they're not too bad, but they're a little annoying. So Jess told me to pack these, so I did. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> I got them for you for a reason. Yeah, I think this area right here is a little more flat. It'll be better to put the tent. This is the tent location. Have your knife. Watch yourself. Watch out. So there is our clothes hanger that we put up here. And this is the entrance to the island. This is how we got on here. So a bit of a little step down. Um, and then we had to come underneath this tree here. So yeah, it was a little bit fun. And then we had to hack all this out with a machete because it was just as thick where we are standing here as this, as the rest of this island. So. This was all overgrown area. So we're literally just hacking our spot here to put our tent. Uh, happens that we're there's a nice log here for us to sit on and probably about where my flip flops are, we're gonna put a, a fire pit area to do some cooking later tonight. You still want this knife? Mm -hmm. We're getting there, almost about time to uh, start constructing the tent and uh, start collecting some firewood. Over here. Where do you want it? A little forward? Yeah. Like the whole ground sheet? I really like this knife. You in there? Mm -hmm. I'll let you get that one situated before I... That little insert there? Yep. Okay. We don't need it though. Oh my goodness, come on. Uh... There we go, tent is done. Very cool. You can a bit, hardly see it too, probably. The top of it is like the same height as these weeds that we cut down. See that? Look at that, that's pretty cool. Bit of an update here. Uh, you might be wondering why we have the sheet that was supposed to be the ground sheet. Um, which we did have on the ground. Why is it on the door? Well, um, we didn't spend the most money on this tent. It's a cheap 40 or $50 tent and the zippers shot and we spent a good 20, 30 minutes trying to fix it and we can't fix it. So that's our door and that's, uh, that's us making do for the night. Ground sheet became the door. Just leave them right there. No, okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Can you just worry about the fire? Okay. We should maybe put this behind the tent. Yeah. Just because of amp, uh, embers. Ooh! It's wet inside. Uh oh. Maybe leave it upside down like that. Chicken salad. Chicken salad? Mm -hmm. Chicken salad. 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 Chicken sal
Nice. Chicken salad. Oh, we could, we have wraps too. Mm -hmm. So we can make bacon and chicken. We could do bacon and chicken Caesar salad wraps. Figure I'm just gonna put the fire right about here. Maybe hack this out a little bit. It's all green, so I'm not really worried about anything catching fire. And we're in the middle of a river, so we are not gonna be starting any forest fires out here today, I will tell you that much. Um, but still, I'll clear this out a bit so that we just got dirt in our area and then we'll light the fire and start cooking up some bacon and some burgers, because I'm hungry. Okay, so I got enough um, firewood here gathered up, I think, to get the fire going. And I'm not too far. I got lots of burning, good burning wood around here. I got my, my sitting log here. So this is just natural. This just is from a down tree. So this worked out perfect. Um, I think I've been hearing some deer trying to get onto this island. So they might, they might bet on this island or... There might be a food source somewhere on this island for them, but I have been hearing, they kind of sound like they're like, ah! <laughs> but I've been hearing that a, a little bit that way and a little bit that way. So I think it's an alert sound. I'm not hundred percent sure, but anyway, I got enough, uh, I got enough fire starter here. So I think this is gonna be good to get the fire lit. I'm just gonna use Bic lighter because it's easy and I don't like to screw around and, I could use other ways to start a fire, but I'm used to using a lighter. It's the easiest way. It always works for me. So why, why not? Right. But I'm going to keep, uh, keep this a little bit small, um, just enough so that we can do some cooking. Cause we're going to be making some, what is it? We're making sausages and bacon. I don't know, some sort of sausage bacon wrap with salad. So either way, it's food. It'll be good. But I think uh, I think this should be enough. I'm going to light this in a couple different spots. And I think it should just go right up. Yeah, I think we'll be in business now. Let it do its thing and maybe in a 30 seconds to a minute, I'll just start adding some bigger pieces, but I think we're good. We've got some good uh, dry material in there now, so it's lit. We got fire. Well, there we have it. We got us a good fire already, and uh, I'm gonna start getting the food out and getting ready to cook here. Maple flavored bacon for the win.
that is going to be good that's for sure smoky We added a jalapeno sausage and a cheddar sausage. Cause we're bosses like that. And that is supper for tonight. We'll get this wrapped up and I'll show you what we actually get to eat once it's all constructed. Jalapeno cheddar with bacon, hot sauce and ketchup for the win. Sweet. Well, I think that's enough for one day. We got a real good setup tonight. Not our typical shelter construction out of garbage bags or tarps. We actually in a nice tent with a nice air mattress and nice sleeping bag. So we're very cozy tonight. And tomorrow we're gonna go float down a river in a raft. Mm -hmm. So. We'll see you then. Well. You can't even think. <laughs> You're not even awake yet. You're not awake yet. Let's just try to tell people that I'm awake. <laughs> I'm just starting the next day. <laughs> you gotta go make a fire and make some coffee. That's cold. 15 degrees Celsius right now. That's it. It's a chilly morning. Uh, I gotta get some coffee going. Hopefully it's not too hard to get a fire going. It rained last night. There's a lot of frogs out here, eh? I've seen it. Every time I come walking around, I see little frogs hopping around or toads. But uh, we had a good sleep last night anyways. I think the plan we should get in the river, um, but it's cold. You always feel good at starting time. Pardon? You always feel good at starting time. I can't hear you very well. You always feel good at starting time. Can you uh, pass me out that pot and a bottle of water? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start uh, boiling stuff. I guess I need the t the uh, twine also. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, there's some extra. This is hot too. You can use this. Pour some of yours out. That's what it's all about. Morning coffee. And it's very hot. Well, that's breakfast on its way. Still need a bit of time for sure, but they're going to be good. Look at that. Those are looking good. I think we're almost ready, actually. So that's breakfast. We're what, throw it on a wrap? Mm -hmm. That'll be good. Well, there's the finished product anyways, so 
We're gonna put those on some wraps, add some cheese and some uh, ketchup, and we'll be good to go. That's breakfast done. All right. Cheese and sausage with hot sauce. Breakfast ready to roll. So it's still pretty cold out today, but we're gonna go into the water anyways, because uh, we're cool like that. You're going into the water, I'm not. I'm gonna pull the dinghy with her in it <laughs> down the river and we'll see how long I last in there. Uh, and then we might go walk down a trail a bit and see what we get to, but. That's the idea, get in there. What's, what is it right now? Like 15, 16 degrees out? Something like that. So it's not super, super, super cold, but it's also not warm. So we'll see what the water's like today and we'll go from there. Don't pop it. It's actually not too bad. I'm happy about that. This is not bad at all. I was expecting to be colder. <laughs> Good to go. Ready right, for me? You, uh, pass me those bags first? Okay. <gasps> Must be nice. It is. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to go this way because like I can't really walk in front of you. You know what I mean? Like I can't walk that way. Mm -hmm. This is the island we camped on. You can see over there it starts and it goes the water goes around it. <laughs> I hope I don't fall. I can feel it pulling me a little bit more. This is where those people crossed the other day. They they were crossing here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're getting deeper. Ah. Okay, okay. Deeper, deeper, deeper. Ah. <laughs> now it's really like the Titanic. <laughs> Have the rapids have died down at least. Okay. Walking down the middle of the river. <laughs> All right. We're going through some shit now. This is going to be a little tricky. I might have to. Uh... Babe. We got it. Got it. These are rapid rapids. I'm not worried about me right now. I'm worried about you. You look real good right now, baby. Thank you. I feel good. So this is what my future looks like? <laughs> Just chilling in a boat? <laughs> like you do some crazy shit? <laughs> Chillin'. Going on a float. Okay, grab on door. I'm about to let you glasses. go. Huh? I have your glasses. I can still see. You. <laughs> okay, ready? Just meet me like just go straight and meet me at the bank. I'll come get you. Okay, ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> I would do it. I, it'd be fun. Hey, children do this. They float down next to their moms and dads. You'll be fine. All right. Okay, you ready? Oh, I'll just grab onto the oar. I'll start you out at least facing forward. There you go. Okay. See you later. <laughs> well, here we are in the middle of the river and there's Jess way down there. I'm gonna go meet up with her in a little bit. Let her go on a little adventure. So, Careful. You can tell them. 
So I spotted a picnic table on this island over here. So we're going to make our way to the island. <laughs> I got my handsome man pulling me in my raft. With no butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my buttless man. <laughs> don't need a, I'm man enough, I don't need a butt. <laughs> I got enough booty it makes up for about the both of us. Yep. Yes. Maybe. We gotta make a fire, right? I guess, yeah. Uh, well, I could go over there and get some wood and bring it back. That tree looks like it's got a lot of burning wood. This is sweet. River folk, eh? <laughs> River folk do best. That was built. That was gonna add to All right, I'm here. Oh, it's cold now that I'm out of here. So instead of going to this picnic table, we, can make coffee over here. we are going to go over here to this little entrance because once he's out of the water, it's cold. And I don't want him getting like hypothermia or something. It's not a very warm day out. And it only takes a couple degrees for your body temperature to drop and then you're in trouble. So we are going to go over here, get him into some warm clothes, and probably build a fire. But I might actually make the fire because he's done a lot. He's let me just chill in this raft floating up river while well, he's held on to me. So the least I can do for my man is build him a fire and get him warm again. Like look at all the work that he does to keep me comfortable. <laughs> all aboard. All right, so we're landed now. Um, behind me is that picnic table on that island that we were gonna go to, but we're going to make coffee, but there's no good burning wood accessible right by that picnic table. So we uh, we just docked here. Docked by, I mean, getting our floaty out of the river. Uh, I changed into some dry clothes because I was soaked from being in the water. But now we're on some sort of a trail here. So we're going to follow this trail out. Uh, I think there's a main trail somewhere down that way. But we're going to see because I haven't been down here in a long time. So. I don't know exactly where we're at, but. I've never been here, babe. Yeah. Well, I've never been exactly where we are right now. I've gone down this river before. Um, I know there's a, tra a main trail somewhere in there, but I've never been on it. So we'll see where this leads and we'll go from there. Look at that. Right on to the main main trail. Yay. They cut the grass and everything. Sweet. This is a yeah, unique it's... unique trail though, eh? It's just yeah. grass just cutting through a big woods and then some field. All right. See where she leads. There's the end of that island. That's the tip of it right there. You can just see it through the trees. I tried to call a deer out from it because there's a bunch of deer that live on that island, but they must not be there. It can't be my poor calling skills. <laughs> they just got to be gone. And they're looking for some corn.
we've already bumped four deer. We don't know if it was only two deer twice, uh, but we've seen four deer. I'm trying to get them on camera for you guys, but every time I put the camera away, it's when the deer come out. So I'm gonna try to keep it out a little bit here and see if we can run into one within the next five to 10 minutes here, we'll see. There you go. We just saw some deer finally. We got some on camera. It might not be the best footage, but at least you could see some deer. Peanut butter and jam wrap. We need it. We've been doing some hiking today and walking through the river, so need some food. Keep fueling up. You okay? Getting over this? Yeah. yeah. Do you need a hand or are you okay? <laughs> you got her. I got it. Sweet. Well, we made it to the main trail finally. A little easier to walk. <laughs> Couple of deer just hanging out by the river's edge. Well, we're back at camp, night two. Uh, start of night two, anyways. Got to get the wood pile going and uh, get some food cooking. We're going to make some burgers tonight and bacon. And we're planning on what we're going to do tomorrow. We might go for a hike, we might not, but I think we're gonna move from this spot. I think this will be our last night here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what tomorrow brings and go from there. Just uh, got, a, got a half decent little wood pile going here and gonna get the fire going so we can start making some supper for the night. Whoa, what do we got? Applewood smoked bacon. So that'll be good. Figure I'll do the bacon first and then we can cook the burgers in the bacon grease. Mm -hmm. Smart idea, babe. You want to do uh, coffee? I'll get the coffee ready. Okay, um, okay cool. Uh, and also, I just had an idea. Once you're done making that coffee, we mm -hmm. can put the bacon that's cooked inside of that pot mm -hmm. while we're making the burgers. Because we didn't bring out any plates. Which really, like, I don't really need them. that beautiful looking now we're gonna put them aside and cook the bergs what do you done here
Got to have the hot sauce. And that'll do for me. That is a very bright moon tonight. Looks beautiful on the water though. Well, there's another day in the books. Um, had a good dinner, so that's always good. I'm just hanging out here, get the fire going, keeping my voice down a bit. Um, Jess is already in the tent sleeping, so just uh, me, myself, and I just out on the sitting log. I got a uh, good fire going here, so yeah, just relaxing, enjoying the night. It's not too cool tonight. I don't even need my my sweater on. Just fire's keeping me nice and toasty, so. Good, bud. I don't know what the hell that is. Don't sound like you're having a good time, though, whatever's going on over there. So anyways, um, as I was saying, it's been a good day. I don't know what that noise was, but it stopped. So that thing's either got away or he's in the shadow realm now. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, the noise stopped. But anyway, I got to get to bed because we got another big day tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. So day three. Uh, what are we doing today? We got to get water. Because we're just about out of water. We used the last little bit to make coffee, which is never a bad idea. Uh, we're going to make the last of our breakfast sausages and pack up and go get some water and then migrate. There we go. Sausages again. They look really good, though. Check that out. Six breakfast sausages, two slices of cheese on a wrap. I will be good for a while. All right, we are out. We're off the island. We're hiking down this road now. I got a, my ruck full. Jess has got a ruck full. We got everything on our on our backs right now. Uh, we're running low on water, so. We're out of water. Yeah, it's rather. We're out. We've been out of water for a bit. We had to. Uh, we had enough to have coffee in the morning and I, literally a mouthful of water each. We packed up our camp and now we're, we're walking to get water because we didn't want to drink that river water. Yeah, we probably could have boiled it, but I've grown up here my whole life and you just know not to drink that water. So we're, uh, we're heading to get some water and then we're going to, I think we're going to a conservation area to camp for the third night. And that'll be it for the three nights camping. See, she's got her pack all loaded. We almost took the wrong turn also, uh, which wouldn't have been good. But we're, we're on the right track now. So what do we got? A few kilometers to water? Uh, three kilometers. Yeah, we're good. And very worst case, if we get super dehydrated, We'll drop our rucks, hide them in a bush somewhere, go up and get water, refuel, come back and get them. But I don't, I think I'll be okay. You'll be okay. Yep. So good to go. But yeah, we're just walking down a road now. So hopefully we also don't get smoked by a car. That wouldn't be good. Is 
She got a good pace. I don't think I can keep up with her. She's in good shape. I mean, I'm in good shape too, but she's going fast right now. I can't. She's like so far up and she doesn't even know it. I need something to drink. Decided not to dump my ruck and just suffer through it rather than have to walk back and get it and come back again, but damn, I'm thirsty. I'm glad Jess is strong right now because I'm not. I'm holy shit. Need a drink. She's okay. She's trucking along up there. She's ahead of me probably, I don't know, 60 meters or so. She keeps turning around checking on me, so you know I'm hurting when she's doing that. We're getting there though. We'll make it. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Jeez, am I ever thirsty. Damn. That was like painful to take off of me. Crazy. Yeah, they've got coffee inside and everything, like K-cup coffee. That's a heavy ass bag. And look, the thing is right there. You can go get some ice cream. Just so everybody can see, that's what I carried. This bag. Because you're a beast. Well, Jess and I made it to this variety star and we're drinking some water. Dasani, good water. Reverse osmosis water. She's got herself a Powerade too, and we're uh, we're good. We're good now. So um, I think we're right around the corner from the conservation area. So we just got to go and get us a campsite booked and go set up and uh, relax. I think they got a beach here, so we'll probably go and hang out on the beach for the rest of the day. It's a nice hot day, so looking forward to it. So we made it to the conservation area, filled up on water, had a protein bar. We're in this pavilion. Uh, we got permission to drop our gear on a site and then we didn't walk to the gatehouse to pay. So that's good, saves us uh, hiking around all of our, our gear there. So we're gonna drop our gear, uh, get us a coffee, go pay, and then probably go hit the beach or something. All right, we're in the woods again and we're almost there. I think this is our site right here. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, there's 123, so we're close. Anyhow. Yeah. There's some people over there. 120. See, it's so best. Yeah. Really this is 120. Oh, I remember this area. I was going to show you something cool later, babe. I remember something cool down there. I'll show you. 122. on the trail again <laughs> well we're at the conservation area we got the weight off our back we're fueled up now we're going to get some coffee Yay. <laughs> yep yeah so we're here this is the conservation area little beach area over there people out on canoes not bad probably lots of turtles in there eh Yeah, probably. There's a little sign over here that says what we got in. And then behind me, there's another little spot. So we're right in the middle of the trail. And on both sides of the trail is like this uh, swampy area. We got strawberries. Mm -hmm. And look at how good those are. Holy. They're amazing. Look at how good. Yeah. Like, look at that. Just pure red, full of juice. Oh my God. They're so good. They are. These are the best strawberries I've ever had in my life. And that says a lot because I've eaten a lot of strawberries in my day. They're pretty good. You said your grandma's were better. Well. Or the ones you picked I, with. Her yeah. Back in the days. These are good though. I like them. Good looking strawberries. Mm -hmm. Good looking woman, good looking strawberries. 
Good looking man. Good, life is good. <laughs> we got Very coffee. Good. We're feeling good now. Life is good. See these little guys? These are called autumn olives. Super sour. That was one that I bought with an eye sour. Super sour. Ooh. These little guys, but super good. You eat as many of them as you want. And there's a lot of them in this bush here. We've been seeing them all weekend. You can eat the seed, but I don't like the seed, so I just eat the skin and stuff around it. But those are autumn olives. I remember eating them as a kid. Getting there. A couple more minutes and then there it is. Finished product. Longhorn burgers. There it is. Longhorn burger. <laughs> these bergs are amazing i'll definitely be getting more mm -hmm. longhorn for the win you know you're eating meat it's like a good nice piece of meat for sure pretty cool beautiful mm -hmm. there we go Walking down some steep, shady trail, leading to where? I don't know. You know, this is the beginning of uh, scenes from all you turn, you know that, right? Look what I found. Couple, couple little snacks. Wait, can we get it to focus on that? Yep. These are autumn olives. Mm -hmm. And you can tell by the silvery mm -hmm. backside. Just wanted me to have a nice little snack. We're walking and all of a sudden something almost hit me and it's an apple tree. Look at this. And look, that is a little wild apple. I think it's a crab apple. I'm not about to eat it, but I'm pretty sure you can eat any. Oh my God, that's what you call That's a greasy it's apple. Huh? Rob's calling Oh, whatever. Well, we're walking down this trail here. Icy cold. It's a drop below like 10 feet. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I see lights, I think, over there. See that? Or is it just me? No, I'm not seeing me. Some sort of a flash. Maybe we're coming up to the other side of the park. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. We just went on an adventurous walk. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we got surrounded by coyotes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. It definitely felt like it. Yeah. I like it better when no one's around. Mm -hmm. It's a little different when people are all around us right now. Uh-huh. Being at a conservation area. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it better last night with just being you. Yeah. But like usual, you always got a nice fire. Like there's there. other fires in the distance and such. Mm-hmm. And lights and a bunch of stuff happening. Mm-hmm. So, whatever. What can you do? At least we got to shower today. That was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. So that uh, concludes it. That's everything. That's our uh, three-day adventure there. So thank you for joining us. Um, 
Hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one. See you later.